Hey, it's Rachel, and I want to talk to you about what to do when you have a child who's always mean to their sibling. And I'm going to help you with this situation, but I also want to help you see it from your child's perspective so that you can see what's effective and ineffective when it comes to motivating more positive behavior. So let's say you have a daughter and she's mean to your son, and you're standing right there so you see her being mean to him. So your initial instinct in that situation is probably going to be to yell at her, tell her all the reasons why she's wrong, and potentially even punish her for what she's done. But you might have seen that that doesn't actually work in the long run, and the reason it doesn't work is based on what is going on for your daughter. So in that situation, there was a reason that your daughter was mean to her brother. Whatever the reason, maybe it's not a good reason, but there's always a reason that someone is mean to someone else. So maybe your daughter felt that her brother was mean first, or maybe she's just jealous of him in general, so she's mean to him as a result. Or maybe it has nothing to do with him. Maybe she just had a really bad day. She's feeling out of control, and the way she deals with that, the way she copes, is to be mean to her brother. But for whatever her reason was, there was a reason. And she's feeling really bad, and then we're coming in and telling her all the reasons she's wrong for doing what she did, and potentially threatening to punish her. So all that's gonna do is make her feel worse. It's not gonna motivate her to act better. So if we're telling her she's wrong, if we're threatening to punish her, that's not gonna make her think, oh, I need to start being nicer to my brother. It's gonna make her think, no one listens to me and no one cares what is going on for me. So let's think about a similar situation from your perspective. If you've had a really bad day and you take it out on someone else, which I know is really common with us parents, sometimes we're just exhausted and we take it out on somebody else. Well, let's say you've done that. You've had a long day and you've taken it out on a friend or a spouse. And then someone comes in and they seem like they're really angry at you and they start telling you all of the reasons that you're wrong and everything you did was wrong and maybe they're threatening to take something away from you that you really care about. Well, chances are that's not gonna motivate you to act better. Even if you agree that you've done something wrong, that's just gonna make you feel worse and it's not gonna help you act better the next time. So what do we do in this situation? Do we just tell our kids that they can get whatever they want and make them happy so that they act better? Absolutely not. We need to set really firm boundaries for our children and let them know what our expectations are. But we also need to understand their perspective and give them tools to do something different. So what we might say in this situation to our daughter is, we do not act that way in this house. But I understand that you're not normally like that, so maybe there's something going on for you. What made you want to do that? We ask that question with curiosity and we respect their perspective they're actually much more likely to come out of whatever they were in that caused them to be mean to their brother in the first place. The other thing we have to do is give them tools to be successful. You know, a lot of people when they're in a bad place, take it out on others simply because they have no other tools. So we may need to teach our children what to do when they are in the middle of a bad emotional place. We may need to teach them how to do some deep breathing or teach them how to write down their feelings or listen to music or maybe even stomp out their negative feelings if they're a young child. We have to give them alternatives though. If we wanna say to them, don't treat someone that way, we have to say, do this instead. And with that in mind, the other thing we have to do is we have to model what it looks like to be really upset and not take it out on someone else. Because the truth is, if when we're really upset, we are taking it out on others, that's what they see and that's what they do. So we need to show them what it looks like to be really emotionally charged and handle it in a positive way. So hopefully that gives you some ideas for how to handle it when your child is mean to their sibling. If you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to email me at rachel at rachel-bailey.com. I will see you next time.